This tonight, new at 11, Sheriff's Secret. A new article is reporting about a surprising moment from the past of Broward County Sheriff Gregory Tony. The article says that Tony shot and killed somebody when he was just a teenager. Local 10 News reporter Janine Stanwood is live in Fort Lauderdale with our top story tonight. Janine. And just a short time ago, we did hear from Sheriff Tony over email. He tells us he would like to speak about this incident and that he'd like to arrange for an interview. In the meantime, we spoke to the woman who was the girlfriend of the man who was killed, and she says it's something she'll never forget. In a bombshell report by the Florida Bulldog newspaper, Broward Sheriff Gregory Tony admits he killed a man as a teenager, he says in self-defense. Tony telling the Bulldog, it was the most difficult and painful experience in my life when as a 14-year-old in Philadelphia, he shot an 18-year-old who he says was armed. The Bulldog reports Tony went to juvenile court and was cleared of all charges. And with records sealed, the incident was kept private until now. I didn't know that his, you know, the charges have been acquitted. So I'm thinking to myself, like, how did this person become a sheriff when they had killed someone? Maritza Carrasquillo tells us over FaceTime that her boyfriend, Hector Rodriguez, was the man Tony killed in 1993. The news, she says, making headlines in Philly. She says she never got to say goodbye. His sister came running and her shirt was bloody. Her hands were bloody. And she told me they shot my brother. They shot my brother. I said, what do you mean they shot your brother? She was like, they shot Chino, but he was shot in the chest. We are constantly uh, ahead of the curve. Earlier this month, Tony released his law enforcement application to Coral Springs Police. His only disclosure was marijuana use in the early 90s. We've reached out to him multiple times for comment. He tells the Florida Bulldog ever since the shooting, he worked to help others. Why I have dedicated my life to service in law enforcement. That's great that he got a second chance, but Hector Rodriguez didn't get a second chance. Again, the sheriff reaching out to us just a short time ago saying that he is willing to do an interview. He told Florida Politics that he believes this is a smear campaign leading up to the 2020 sheriff's race. He also says he did not commit a crime, that this was self-defense. We're in Fort Lauderdale tonight. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.